Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Welcome to Saturday. Welcome to Saturday evening, as you can tell. It is so dark that you can barely see me. And it is so wet that I don't want to keep the camera out for long. That is all of Saturday, pretty much. The only thing that's happened other than that is wrapping. Because it's Christmas. That's what you do at Christmas, you wrap in the dark. So check out what's going on under the tree at the moment. You can see there's been a lot of carnage today, a lot of wrapping paper. Um, that's only way, that's why I've had to go and buy some more, because we actually ran out of wrapping papers. Presents are too big, or there's too many of them, one or the other. Anyway, but m and is it's like a zombie apocalypse in there. To be honest, it looks like it's been ravaged by the few remaining survivors. It's just scary, really scary place. <laughs> Not a fun way to spend your Saturday night. Like you didn't already know that. It's a warmish Sunday, so as the breeze picks up, so we're going to go for a walk into Richmond. Make the most of the not particularly wintry weather. Look, we're almost in Richmond. We've battled all weathers, rain and no shine, to make it down past the lock and the weir, the old deer park to actual Richmond hasn't taken how long has that taken? I don't even know when we about left an about an hour hour and a half That's not too bad We're going quite casually hello there it's Christmas Eve which means Santa's going to come in a moment so I need to go to bed because he doesn't like it when I'm awake it gets a bit jumpy so yes I'm back at home in Richmondsworth and tomorrow is Christmas space how are you getting on with plans for your extension or haven't you heard anything? Well, uh, the... It's gone to the council. The council sent stuff to our neighbours. Right, so... I'll get your question then. That's good. Well, not that we can afford it. <laughs> so it's, it's all sort of theoretical. <laughs> it's intellectual work that says. Well, once you've got it, you've got it, haven't you? Yes, but only for a few years. That's so wave to attack. Oh, that's wave then. Oh, that's the moment. Yeah. Uh, uh, it looks like jam. <laughs> Could you pass yeah. that other one, that voucher? That one? No. That one? No. Keep going. That that one. One. Yes, please, to my mind. Oh. Mm. Ta da! Do this. I want. Oh no, no, no! I did it myself. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm used to that because I'm doing that writing for the happy reading. So I have to do it. Yeah, that's mm. well, very good. Uh, yeah. I'm intrigued by. Uh, so I put you an old iron and a new iron. Yeah, well, I've got an old, an old iron. Uh, I haven't got an old radio. Well, I have, I suppose, the one that in the room you're yes, sitting in. Yes, it is. Yeah. In your iron, in your iron. Yeah. What yeah. happens when that radio doesn't work anymore? Well, it won't. It's going to be a museum piece. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can keep it on display somewhere if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go anti-clockwise? Right. Yes. Why not? Why not? Go against the Christmas walking. Yes. Down by the aquadrome. Actually, it was supposed to rain all today, but it's, as you can see, I mean, not unpleasant. Not too cold, not too windy, not too wet. So the lake has kind of encroached on the path. On it. They look really soft, don't they? Yeah. We'd have a sit down on a log. I don't know where I want to sit on it. Get a green oh. bum. Having some lunch. Oh, yes. Can you see the squirrel, Teddy? Yum, yum. Who's sitting on it? Yeah. 
Oh, you can see some. Oh, the mark from the squirrel, yeah. yeah. Christmas table set. It hasn't got, well, it hasn't got the it's cutlery not, on it yet. It hasn't got cutlery or stars. Oh, the, the wine. stars. We've got stars. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have mentioned the stars. Um, there is all the presents. And in here is the hive of the cooking industries. Hot water, keeping them warm, and parsnips. A goose, some roast potatoes. Parsnips. Oh, uh, no. Christmas sprouts, Christmas pudding, and then out here we have pigs in blankets, stuffing, no idea. Oh, let's say red cabbage, I guess. Cheers and a happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Clicky, clicky. Mm. Better yeah. late than never. Brian Anderson comes down soon. Yeah. Mm. Now, which wine is this? Yeah. Well, you have the privilege of setting the dinner on fire. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Oh. Set the okay. Here we go, any, any moment. Getting near it. Oh, yeah. You're right. Well, nice Toby, you couldn't be much closer. Mike. Go on, try now. Ooh. Ooh. Listen to it. That reheats the pudding. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> it's a bit more energetic than this is. No, I think you do less energetic. Yeah, I just like to tell Mike. No. no, you've got to do more energy. No, 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 less, it's got to be less. Well, I did more. Oh no, to knock that ball yeah, to knock the ball over. Okay. Now you're all going the same trajectory. Oh. Yeah, this is poor. What have you got there? My socks. No, on the groove. Oh, you've got it. There's a bit of plastic. Come on, go on, go on, go on. They've both made nothing. <laughs> right, once around the block quickly. Yes, a high speed walk around the block to walk off the goose. It is quite chilly. It's like a disco. Is Chinese on a cold Boxing Day. Damp Boxing Day. Going for a walk down to the watercress beds. Going along Holloway Lane. It's actually a very nice day for a walk. It's a bit chilly, that's why I'm wearing a balaclava. <laughs> But other than that, it's very nice. Pleasant smell of horse. Oh, 
Hello horse. So we've come back through the field because the uh, lane at the bottom is quite flooded. Down there. So we're going to attempt a different route in moments. So this is Cheney's Manor. Now that we're going the other way, that was a very, very old tree. Yeah, that's the manor. We come around here and that is the maze you're looking at one side of and the stables. You can see a tiny pygmy horse over there, pygmy pony. There's a real, real itch there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. And we're back in Cheney's after two medium sized walks in the opposite direction due to uh, flooding and whatnot. And now it's time to eat as is traditional. Is it a, an open bell? I suppose it is. It I have no idea. It's <laughs> full of chocolate. Yeah. There's does no it, ringer. Does it ring? Shall I? It's got a hard chocolate crust. Ooh, blimey, it has. One is the sorry. I don't think I'll use a bread knife. That's all on the chocolate. Bread knife I'll use. Is that edible ball as well? Yeah, it's a lobby edible. Yeah. Oh. Get your hands off. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll have another go. Oh, I'll, I'll start where I... Oh, oh, that, uh, that worked. Oh, that's uh, cracked. You now have the Liberty Bell. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Well, I can oh, oh, look at it. Oh, wow. It's mm. like a moose. Who wants a bit? Oh, oh, I'll, I'll have a spoon. Like, uh, mince meat. Mm. Oh, it doesn't taste like mince meat, though. Good morning. <laughs> I say good morning. I'm absolutely certain it's the afternoon. In fact, I think it's nearly two. We're going for another walk. Very cold, but the sky's bluish, the sun's been out, and so we're going up to the woods through up a hill rise because we couldn't be bothered to go any further. The woods, the Rickmansworth woods, and the Rickmansworth mobile phone masts. There's lots of these massive great swallow holes. And the roar of the M25. So, after a lot of fighting, we finally saved this tree from the ivy infestation. You see it's got a bit crazy up there. So we've managed to break off all these pieces. It's quite hard work. <laughs> Man versus Ivy. I don't think you're going to get any more than that off. I'll die over the winter. Believe it or not, these are the toilets of the Pennsylvanian pub in Rittmansworth. That is the high street of Pennsylvania City Hall. And that's William Penn on the top there. That is reasonably fucked up for a pub toilet. That's all I'm saying. Is it Magdalene Road? Yeah. 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 Just have yeah. to go in, 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 in. Which hospital are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. There's a site. 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 There's a site.
In the antique shop in Wendover, Alex yeah. wanted a bag of tailboard. He's found one. Ridiculous. I don't know how unlikely that was. There's a shelf hope board as well. And look, it's got the. Oh, look how narrow that is, you see. There's no spring, but you've got a little ramp. Yeah. There's some amazing things in there. There's really balls in there. Some nice oak chairs. Random glassware. You know how it is. And hats. More hats. Pictures of babies. Now that can be changed because it's just done the. It's not the right colour or whatever. This is really sweet to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. That's gorgeous. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's what I was looking at. New <laughs> verses. Oh, Cap Kids. Cap Thank you very much. Because I was looking at mine, so I've got one like this. But it's, no, it's so old. And I was looking on, <laughs> on their website yesterday oh, right. oh, and did a pretty one. <laughs> That's really nice. That's really great. Thank you. Up above Chesham, going for a walk through the muddy lanes. I'm sure it's been here before. Somebody's house, somebody's field. Yeah, it's quite oh, muddy and feels a bit kind of um, foreboding. And there's the car where we started. Our Rundweg. Hello, it's me. <laughs> it's the first time you've seen my face in days because it's just been it's just been food going into it. Hasn't been any room on the screen. Um, it's the last day of the year and therefore the last day of the vlog. Um, for this year, obviously there'll be another one very shortly and it is a terrible, terrible weather. So I'm going to get food because obviously we're back home and we haven't got any and um, to slightly adjust the size of the trousers I got for Christmas. Not by eating, by exchanging them for new ones. And uh, yes, try to make the most of having a day doing nothing because apparently tomorrow, or should I say next year, the weather's lovely. So that's exciting. Good evening. It's about half past ten. So there's about an hour and a half left of 2012. And nothing's happening. <laughs> 2012. Kind of just sort of seeping away. Uh, 2013, just to give you a heads up, um, from my perspective, is going to be rather exciting. I'm really looking forward to next year. I think it's going to be a big one. Um, and I don't usually say that, I'm usually like, oh, you know, every year is basically the same, it's an arbitrary date change, blah, blah, blah. But not this time. This, this is a big one. So, um, it's going to be awesome. I'm very excited, but i still got to wait an hour and a half whilst, you know, let's not get some party poppers or something. There are a couple of fireworks, to be fair. <laughs> 